Number three is the one that most women don't want to look at, but it's also a very, very important one, which is that you're giving off an impression that this is what you're looking for. And, you know, I, I want to say this at first because this is the big complaint that I get all the time. And it's that men are responsible for their behavior. Men are always responsible for their behavior. And so are you. And it's one of those things where if you want, like if you show up to a job interview and you're like, you need to just accept that I'm a serious candidate, even though I'm showing up in a clown outfit, right? It's like, okay, well, <laughs> how am I supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing a clown outfit? And th there's actually a Dave Chappelle skit about this where he was talking about wearing like a police police officer's uniform and somebody comes up to him and they're like, hey, hey, you know, can you help us? Like, we, need, you're a cop, right? You know, like, you need to come and help us. And he's like, well, just because I'm wearing a, a police officer's uniform doesn't mean that I'm a police officer, right? And the point of the skit was that he was, it, it, it was like a joke. Like, if you're, if you want to give off a certain impression, you, you need to make sure that you're you're dressing the part of a person that wants to give off that impression, right? If you want to be taken seriously by men as something more than just superficial, then play the part of somebody who actually considers something else going on with them. And so the point is, is if you want men to take you seriously, don't show pictures of your butt and half naked photos in your app or online dating profiles. It just gives men the wrong impression. Second, set boundaries in your communication with men so that men know where your boundaries are and then stick to those boundaries, right? The whole thing about exclusivity before intimacy and making sure that you're setting boundaries in the right way, right? Communicating it in an effective way. I have a program called How to Talk to Men or How to Talk to a Guy. <laughs> I think that's somebody else's program, how to talk to men. Mine is how to talk to a guy, and I've got a program about that. <laughs> if you're really interested in learning more about setting boundaries and some of the those kinds of conversations that you want to have with guys. Third, show aspects of your personality. If you don't go deep and wide with your connection with men, and you're just kind of like this one-dimensional person, right? It, it's It's... Don't be surprised when a guy is only interested in hooking up with you because it's like, well, I can't really find any other dimensions to her personality. So what else is there for me to fall in love with? What else is there to connect to? What else is there to really be with here other than just the simple things? And, and I, <laughs> I can, I, you know, and I know that there's a lot of like complaints around that, but it's like, you know, how, you know, if you're meeting guys and there's a lot of women out there that are like, oh yeah, you know, I met this guy and he's just so boring, right? And there's nothing going on with him. And it's the same thing, right? If you go and meet a guy, like it's, he feels the same way, right? He's like, yeah, you know, I don't know. She's really hot. You know, that's what he ends up telling his friends when he goes home. She's really hot because that's all that's going on here, right? And so you want, you want to have more there. You want to have more going on there.